Monaco was critical because uh, you know you, you you could place yourself on track in a few areas that nobody would overtake you. You know, and, and this was frustrating. In the first stint of the race, I was stuck behind the car. I wanted to push. I wanted to go quicker. Now I, I was forced of, on saving extra energy because I couldn't go past him. And then I was the slow guy on the, on my second stint, hang, uh, you know, uh, closing the door on the other guys behind me. So. It was a bit of a frustrating race in Monaco, to be honest. But looking at this track layout, it looks like the entries to the to most of the corners are very wide with tight exits. So I think we'll see a lot of action here, a lot of lunges on on each other's inside and uh, going for for the moves. I, I mean, there's no way you can cover a car here. For you know, if I want to go past someone, I will go. And, and and so I think we'll have an interesting race here for sure. A lot more action than than Monaco. And obviously with 120 points set up for grabs, does that make you more focused now to kind of go for those points? I mean, realistically, I will sit in the car every time to be on pole and win the race from now on. I think we, we can set that goal for ourselves. Uh, it will be hard for sure, and, and we have to, to be happy with top fives and podiums. So, but clearly our, our goal, our stake is higher now as a team, as a driver, I'm more ambitious. Uh, I, you know, having, having a better car, uh, puts more pressure on me to do good and um, yeah obviously the mistake we, we had in Monaco cannot happen anymore and uh, we'll learn from that and move on.